Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. And then here's the last figure for the Spider-Man Retro Wave, Spider-Man himself. Um, so here's the billboard picture of him, looking really cool. Animated series uh, logo, really cool Spider-Man right there. I did pre, I did pre-order one on Amazon, and that's the only one that I did not cancel because I want to keep one in package. Like it looks really cool, just like this. So I'm gonna keep him in package, but this one I'm gonna open while I wait for the next one that will not open. So here's bottom, not much, side, top, not much going on. And then here's the back, logo again, art again, and then how you swap the heads out. And if you want to pause the video and read this, you can. If I can, there we go. And then the figures in a wave, Electro, Peter Parker, Green Goblin, Gwen Stacy, and Daredevil. And then the DCPI. Besides that, let's open this bad boy up. And then here's Spider-Man out of the packaging, looking sick. Um, so he comes with some accessories. So like, he comes with this extra head that has the eyes closed just a little bit. And I've heard people are having problems with the mask webs not lining up real well. So that's why I make sure I wanna check mine out. I think I'm like lucky or something. And I mean, I think they might have done some paint correction or something because that looks a little messed up. But I'm more worried about the front, which I think it actually looks perfect to me. It looks pretty good to me. And then, so there's that one head. And then he comes with some fisting hands. It kind of looks like the one from the um, all new, all different Spider-Man, which I don't have, but I've seen it. I will eventually get him though. Uh, separately from the packaging uh, with MJ. I probably might end up getting both. I don't know. Um, and then, so he comes with two of these and then two whipping hands that he has on right now. Let's go over the figure. So I've also heard there's some mess ups on this one. Yeah, there's a little bit of a mess up right there. Webbing's not really lined up there. But besides that, the black areas for the head looks, eyes look good. There's a little bit of white scuff in there. Not a whole lot. I mean, I can barely see it in person. But on camera, it shows a little bit. Um, and then throughout the figure, the webbing patterns look, like, solid. Like, really good. They're not sculpted in, which is good. Because in the animated series, I think all of it was just cotton. So, not cotton. Just all fabric, basically. So it looks really good. And the blues look good. I think there's a little, there's a little bit of blue bleeding in the ab there. Eh, not, not, nothing bad. But then one thing that I have a problem with, they should take care of this, but I've heard they're doing, I'm working on this like no peg technology thing with, um, I think one of their first figures that they're doing it with is the old man Hawkeye. But I wish they did it with this figure because this would have been a deal breaker. Oh yeah, one more thing for accessories. I wish they came with wall crawling hands. That's like the one of the main things that they could have added in. Like for Daredevil, they added in like the bracelets, batons, and the extra hands for him. But it only added like these three things. Whereas Deadpool, I mean, Daredevil, I mean, got like six things. So I think they had enough room to make, add in like one more extra set of hands, which would have been good. But... 
Uh, I don't see any more webbing mess ups, which looks good, which is really good. And then back, no more whole pegs, which is nice. And then I wish they could have lined up, like used black line for the spider back here to give it more of that cartoony look instead of having it like just like that. It looks like everything's just bleeding in kind of instead of having it. Whereas if they had like that black line around it, it would have made it look a lot more like would have made it stand out a little bit, which I think they should have done. And then, yeah, I really like the blues and red that they use for this, which is really good. But I think one more thing to add in. So the back here, they cut that off so you can look up. I'll, I'll go over the articulation here in a minute. Uh, actually, I'll just go over it now. So, so you can get to look down just a little bit, just like that. But then you get to make them look up, but then you get this little gap, which I've have a little bit of a problem with. I seen this guy who made three D print, uh, made a three D print model of a better one that look that would work a lot more better and have like more accessibility. But he has a little bit of head tilt, which is nice, and then you can look left and right. But oh, let's see if I can pop this off. There we go. So yeah, they have that. It's that dumb dumbbell ball joint. So they have another ball in there keeping it from coming out whereas this one does its job not really though because it doesn't go all the way back like that's supposed to so but the the guy that i saw he made a big ball here and had a small ball joint and then you just pop the head on and you get him to go all sorts of places which i think that's a smart idea i'll put a link in the description i don't remember uh who he is what his name is but he had really cool ideas so you guys should check out his stuff. Um, but let's pop this head on. I really like this head sculpt more mainly because of the eyes. This one looks a little weird. Eh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe just to make him look different, I'll probably put him on. I'll put this one on. If I can. I don't want to break the neck. I think yeah, didn't I? Hmm? I think I did. Looks like I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it on. Yep, it's on. All right, so we got that neck thing going on. I finished, I mean. So his arms can move out that far. I wish they could have gone out a little bit farther, honestly. Um, he has a butterfly joint, which you can get him to look back that, again, back that far. He has a... Another thing that guy mentioned, he doesn't have buffy shoulders, like, not, not really, you don't want them really buffy, but you want them kind of a little bit bigger to make them look like a superhero, kind of. And then you could get him to go all sorts of places, and they should cut this little piece off, so that way you could get him to move his shoulder up a little bit more. But, yeah. And then you get him to go to 360 rotation, you have a bicep swivel, these things annoy me. And you change that. Um, and then also this little piece. not Nothing really bad, but um, bicep swivel, like I said. Double jointed elbows. I'm not sure if I could get them farther back. But it's like that. Uh, wrist can hinge down that far. Up that far. Pretty good. And then the thing that they added in for this figure that everyone's going nuts about, which I like a lot. He has a diaphragm joint, well, a ball joint at the top, and then a ab crunch at the bottom. Basically, the opposite of what GI Joe does. They have the ab crunch where it usually is, and then a ball joint at the bottom, which I think is a little bit better because you get more range, I think. Um, so you get him to pivot this far, which is good. You get him to go forward this far, and then backwards really far, which is nice. And that ab crunch, you can get him to go forward that far without the ball joint and then backwards really far just even without the ball joint. But all together, you can get him to go that far back forward and then this far backwards, which is awesome. And then another thing that they added in is the drop hips, which they should add in to the rest of the Spider-Man figures eventually. So you can get him to kick out a little bit farther. 
and you can also get them to do splits if you do a little bit of maneuvering. So if you just rotate this a little bit, get it up, change the thigh cut a little bit there, same thing. You get them to do basically the splits. So, awesome. But it's not as good as Snake Eyes or um, Dukes. But he has a thigh cut, like I said. You can get, oh yeah, I almost forgot. So yeah, you can get him your kick forward that far. A little bit farther, actually. And then backwards, it looks a little weird, but it's okay. You can get him a kick, like, you can change his thigh cut and get him to kick back, basically almost to his back, which is awesome. Um, and then double jointed knees. He has a shin cut there, which is awesome. And then... Uh, ankles can pivot down that far or not pivot um hinge down that far and then up that far i think they could have done a little better on that one but it's not bad and then good ankle pivot so he's an amazing figure just little mess ups but i think they could come out with a, a really cool spider-man eventually i think they just messed up on the accessories part they could have added like a wall crawling hands for one um maybe um i don't know what else they could have added maybe some web effects would be awesome actually to make him look like he's web swinging or something um and then some like articulation problems like with the feet um they could have done a little bit better i think i think let me get snake eyes i'll show you the difference between their type of diaphragm joint switch App crunch to compared to the snake eyes here. Alright, so snake eyes, they have it flipped over for G.I. Joe and Spider Man here. So instead, they have the app crunch where it usually is and the ball joint at the bottom. So you get them to go down like really far with the app crunch, which I think. They could, they could have actually done a lot better. Like, but Spider Man is close. It's pretty close. Not close enough to Snake Eyes, though. And then Snake Eye for the hip drop thing. They get him to go out. Like, almost. You don't even have to manage with the, uh. What is it? The, um. Sorry, I'm trying to get him to balance a little bit here for difference. Oh, uh, come on. But the difference between... Oh, I'm just going to do it laid down. So, Spider-Man compared to Snake Eyes. Uh, hip drop thing. Snake Eyes is way better. I mean, without managing with messing with the, the thigh cut or anything, he does it better. And then the app crunch too. I think they could have done. They could have been a little bit smarter about that one. But still, really cool Spider-Man. I mean, a lot better than the other ones for sure. Um, just a little mess ups on the um, articulation pieces and stuff like that, especially with the head thing too. It's a little messed up. With that little gap right there is going to annoy the shit out of me. <laughs> Sorry for the cussing for kids who are watching. But uh, hopefully down the road they can actually make a really good one. I'm pretty sure that eventually they'll go with this type of ab crunch movement. And then the the uh, hip drop thing for Snake Eyes. Because this Snake Eyes has better articulation. And I really hope they actually add in like the... Uh, the neck thing too for the bottom of the neck that'd be awesome just saying so really good spider-man figure just a few mess ups and then also that they, they should have done that with this figure but oh well uh really good figure um just some mess ups but that's all I've got all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you check out my buddy's instagram page at highlight photos he does really cool photos awesome my two best friends that i usually play call of duty with sometimes with other games 
They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buick 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.